ocular manifestations in rhino orbital cerebral mucormycosis post covid 19 so covid 19 pandemic has affected millions of life all over the world it has led to complications secondary like uh, secondary complications like bacterial and fungal mucormycosis is one of these complications ROCM is an acute fatal fungal infection caused by zygomycetes family. It's an aggressive opportunistic infection found mostly in immunocompromised individuals. Aim is to study spectrum of ocular manifestations and their visual outcome in mucormycosis patient post COVID-19. So this was a hospital based retrospective observational study done in Gandhi Medical College Bhopal for a period of 6 months initial 100 diagnosed cases of covid-19 related rocm was taken diagnosis was based on histopathological and kh mount from nasal cavity and data were compiled and statistically analyzed so total 100 patients were taken minimum age of the patient 18 maximum 80 mean being 50.7 years male 71% and female 29% so uh, according to presenting features uh, so maximum uh, the um, was uh, patient presented with proptosis and conjunctival chemosis followed by loss of vision periorbital edema ptosis orbital pain extraocular muscle limitation deviation of eye and diminution of vision and according to visual acuity so 54 patient presented with no perception of light 10 patient with only perception of light 14 patient up to a uh, counting finger 10 patient from counting finger to 624 and 12 patient from 618 to 66 vision so according to imaging features so 72 patients uh, had uh, orbital cellulitis 52 patient had orbital apex involvement 24 patient with cavernous sinus involvement 30 patient with cns involvement and all 100 patients with sinus involvement so cases according to systemic status so uh, known patients known diabetic before contracting covid was in uh, 62 patients 38 patient had developed de novo uh, de novo di- uh, diabetes on uh, while on covid treatment 88 patients had uncontrolled diabetes uh, 34 patient was on other immunosuppressive uh, state and mean hba1c was 11.5 so management of mucormycosis 96 patient was given iv liposomal amphotericin b followed by oral posaconazole 90 patient had sinus debridement 50 patient had transcutaneous uh, retrobulbar amphotericin b so, uh, 36 patient had uh, undergone orbital excentration and 12 patients debridement of orbital necrotic tissue with orbital irrigation with amphotericin b so uh, unfavorable outcome was seen in 78% favorable outcome in 22% and mortality in 9 patient patients so clinical outcome so uh, unfavorable outcome was seen uh, in patients with uh, sinus uh, cavernous sinus involvement orbital apex syndrome uncontrolled diabetes and cns involvement and factors predicting mortality was observed to be only cns involvement these are some photographs this is a lady with third nerve pal- uh, um, palsy with uh, bilateral pansinusitis and uh, cavernous left cavernous sinus thrombosis this is a neurotropic keratitis with uh, no orbital or cranial extension orbital apex syndrome left eye uh, showing crao picture and mri brain showing left ic thrombosis bilateral presentation with uh, involving both intra and extra conal spaces with uh, extensive bilateral pansinusitis orbital spread is through nasolacrimal duct orbital apex lamina papyracea central retinal artery terigo palatine fossa so rocm is a known occurrence in covid uh, 19 affected patients the orbital involvement is due to arterial thrombosis affecting the wall of the orbit oculomotor and optic nerves responsible for blindness with or without thrombosis of the ophthalmic artery it is uh, initially unilateral and can gradually progress to other eye it is marked by orbital pain diplopia of thalmoplegia periorbital edema chemosis exophthalmia or even blindness so in this study uncontrolled diabetes involvement of orbital apex cavernous sinus and cns determined an unfavorable outcome and cns involvement was the only factor determining mortality of the patient conclusion rocm is an acute fatal and opportunistic a fatal opportunistic fungal infection affecting mainly diabetic or immunocompromised individuals timely diagnosis and intervention in the form of surgical debridement and antifungal therapy are critical aspects in improving clinical outcomes in such patients hence it is prudent to take multidisciplinary approach by physicians ophthalmologists neurologists and ent surgeons for successful eradication of infection and survival of the patient these are my references